Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Log Data. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to create web application using Python and Flask framework. So without wasting so much time, let's get started. Okay, so this is the GitHub repo I have created. By the way, I'm going to provide the link of this into the description box. You can check it out. And now let's understand quickly into the Visual Studio code how it works. Okay, so before we proceed, let me explain you the you know uh, this folder structure. So here we have the main folder. I have named it as www. Whatever you want, you can put it. Then we have the template folder in which I have the index.html and result.html and then into the main folder I have this python code for youtube video.pw file which is our main file. Now let's quickly run this file and see how the output looks like and after that I'm going to explain the code. So let me run this. Let's click on this. Okay, so as you can see, my server is started and I have to go to this particular link. Let's click on this. You see, I'm not a HTML guy, so that's why, you know, um, I have created a very simple HTML. So what it is asking for, we need to, you know, provide the URL link. So let's go over on YouTube. Let's quickly copy this link and let's paste it over here and click on download video so see as this is you know uh, it's it started basically downloading the video and let's wait for yeah now say it's downloaded the video and it's saying thanks for downloading your entered info so this was the url link we have provided and let's quickly check the folder what it has downloaded so see it has downloaded this particular song into the same directory as you can see over here now let's quickly understand how it works and what are the things we have to see okay but before that let me quickly stop the server so control c for stopping the server and yeah it stopped okay now let's understand into the template folder i have the index.html so let's first quickly understand this what i'm doing over here so i'm creating an html file doc type html then english language utf is the you know, character set and yeah i'm titling it as document then i'm creating one form as you can see over here so, and i'm going to you know do the form action and so what the form is doing so the header is youtube video downloader and what i'm taking input as you know the url link so as you have seen in the demo that url link user need to provide this url link and the id is first and after that i am you know uh, creating one button the name of the button is download video so yeah uh, as you have seen in the demo we have the download video button and the id of this is for sub so basically we need to have different ids for different things see i'm not an html guy and if you are following data science series for me so obviously we don't need to require much uh, knowledge of you know html css or javascript but yeah this is the basic one i have created now what i'm doing over here on the form action it should go to this url download now this will this i will explain you into this uh, python code for youtube video.py file but before that let's you know quickly understand this result.html i hope this uh, index.html is clear to all of you guys okay let's proceed to result.html so again i'm creating you know um, HTML file with the same this line will will be going to same as uh, index.html and Now what I'm doing over here is basically I am Saying thanks for downloading. So this is going to uh, you know show the paragraph and This result.html is basically, you know when I hit that submit button After that, you know downloading the video it will show this particular page which is result.html 
now what i'm doing over here i am uh, you know doing a for loop over here in key value so you know whatever data we have gathered from our index.html that is the you know um, youtube video url so it will return that thing into the json format so this thing i am you know uh, J, uh, into the dictionary format or json format so i'm you know uh, extracting key and values that is a youtube video url and the actual url passed by the user so you know i'm i'm creating table over here and so that's why you know in the output we will be able to see the table that is uh, video url and the you know actual url passed by the user so that's what I'm creating over here into this table and that's uh, that's it I'm closing the body and HTML finally okay cool I hope this is you know understandable and yeah let's proceed further and now let's understand this uh, you know Python code for YouTube video .py. so I'm importing some libraries over here PyTube from PyTube import YouTube then from flask i'm importing flask render template justify request and then import request these are the you know uh, i don't think so request and justify is required but yeah uh, you can ignore these two things and uh, i'm importing requests also after that i'm you know creating a flask app over here so basically this is the uh, you know the path we follow to create the app into the flask so app equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore then i'm creating one method over here at the rate app dot route and slash this basically means a home page and the method is going to be get okay now you know in the flask we have two methods get and post if you don't have idea you can you know google it and then i am creating you know a home function over here which will simply return the render template index.html so render template i have imported over here from flask basically it will going to you know render the term uh, this index.html file and it will show you so you know that's why whenever we start this server so basically we'll get this index.html to home page and this is showing that only okay now let's move ahead and see i'm creating over here another function define download and before that you know i'm creating a different route which is download slash download and the method is post now if you go to the index.html and if you see this form action what i'm doing over here you know um, i'm you know calling this particular download and method equal to post so basically i am routing this over here into this particular function define download now uh, see this is the app.route slash download is the and method is the post so basically this will come from here to you know over here into the back end and then after uh, uh, this will execute this particular function define download now in this download function i am going to you know basically download the youtube video so let's see how it works so i am checking over here if request.method equal to equal to post so obviously this method is post so this condition will be true and then result equal to request.form so basically i am you know uh, fetching the information from the request dot form which have sent from this particular form and i'm saving it into the result after that what i'm doing i'm you know fetching a request dot form url link so url link which is passed by the user i'm fetching it into the video url variable then i'm creating a function define video download url i'm, pa I'm passing the url into this function after that i am creating a object of this youtube class which i have you know imported over here so this is the object of that particular class after that what i am doing video.stream.get highest resol resolution so basically this will give me the highest resolution of this particular url which is passed by user and i am storing it into the stream variable then finally i am calling this download function that is stream.download and then you know basically i'm calling this function and finally i'm returning the render template result.html so basically this will you know give the output uh, that is result.html it will be returned and then finally result equal to result and in this uh, result we are having the you know the, the url of that particular video and then finally i'm you know just uh, doing if underscore underscore name equal to equal to main then app.run into the debug mode i have kept the debug equal to 2 
so that is the function of this and you know if you understand this particular function let me open this jupyter notebook and let me show you so see over here i'm importing pytube then from pytube i'm uh, you know importing youtube and then this is the video url and you know i'm creating the object over here youtube video url then i'm calling this particular function get highest resolution video dot streams dot get highest resolution and then you know finally i'm printing this particular stream variable so as you can see it has fetched the video format as mp4 resolution is 720p and then fps is 24 fps and so other information so right this stream has the you know all the uh, information that is the resolution then uh, how many fps the video is having format of video mp4 or what it, whatever it has and then finally uh, stream dot download will do the job of you know downloading the things so that's it i think this is the function of this and i hope you guys understood this video and you know if you guys want to uh, create me this as a full-fledged website where I can host this also and you know you can go and download any kind of uh, YouTube video uh, if, Whatever you want to download so you know feel free, free to comment it and I will think to you know create the uh, full-fledged application on this So thank you for watching this video guys. I will see you next time